Hello everyone, it's Nikki here. It's been quite a while since I've um, made any videos or in fact even done any crafting, uh, not by choice. Um, I'll bore you with the details in my blog, so if you visit my blog, um, which I'll link, link below, if, you, if you're interested you can see why, but anyway. I had started to prepare for Kendra's card challenge, which is uh, what, what we're dealing with, what we're doing today. Um, you know before the start date so you may have seen my video for Kendra's card challenge number two which was my first um, challenge on her being on her design team for this it's a lovely thing to do um, it challenges me because I generally make cards that are seven by seven eight by eight smaller six by six and five by sevens never um, the size that um, is five and a quarter, I believe, by four and a half. F uh, yes, four and a quarter by five and a half. Got that around the wrong way. Um, and so for me, it really is a challenge. And the challenge is uh, you choose six pieces of patterned paper and you follow uh, Kendra's cutting um, template. And then for each cutting template so this one is a challenge of making 16 cards so using this cutting template which takes you all through six pages you then have the sketches for how um, they should be laid out and so it really is nice because you can use stash I've got lots of six by six um, paper pads but I don't very often use them so today I'm going to do I wanted to be quite quick so I've already prepared all of the very I've done all the cutting I've prepared all the elements for each card and I'm going to show you um, how I've put them together now I used and I will show you the sketch for each one as I'm doing it so I used um, the Dovecraft Finding Paradise paper pack there is a whole range of stuff when they launch these things there tends to be a whole range and so there's uh, these and you've got um, these photo frames, rub-ons which I've used, there's washi tapes, um, all sorts of things, Big, bigger pads, 8x8s, 12x12s. Um, I absolutely, for, for some bizarre reason, I love anything with um, these um, pelicans on. Pelicans? No, it's not a pelican. Flamingo. With these flamingos on. So, um, without further ado... I'll start. Okay, sketch one. It shows you the layers. So, so basically, the card will measure. The base card will measure uh, five and a quarter. Um, I said that just now. Five and a half by four and a quarter. I just used a card and cut it up. I just cut it up into that. I don't have this size card. Used a bone folder, folded them in half, and then I followed the various things on the template so as you can see she's color coded them but for, for card number one everything with a one is what you require so you would cut it all then I put them all in um, their own bags I'll show you uh, here so I'll have six oh gosh you can't see that let me find a piece of plain paper which you know as a crafter I don't know if you can see that um, so I'll, I'll have 16 little bags and then I'll put all the ones, everything that says one, so there's one there. There's not that many ones for this one actually. Um, I think they're... Anyway, so that's what will happen. Then I collate them all together and, and this is what I end up with. So for this one we've got the base card, we've got a mat and layer. So the mat and layer is... Um, and, and they're, they're called frames, um, we, I call them mats, mats and layers. So the first one is four by five and a quarter, which is this one, which obviously came out of that pad. And the next one is three and three quarters by five inches. And it's as simple as that. Now you, you, you don't have to follow the, um, the card sketch exactly. I have done and I haven't done. I, I generally, I like, I like to use a card sketch. I've also got these three stripes that are here, which I'm going to glue across, like this. You can do it however you want. I love these colours. 
Um, she suggested we use any shape, but I've got some new um, hexagon die, so I'm going to use that. And I used a stamp um, from a, a magazine that I subscribed to. There was a little stamp set, we've got lots of different, and I just used that stamp. So I don't know if you can actually see that, but I just used that stamp. I coloured it in, cut it out, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this together, I'll whiz it through, and then show you the finished article.
Okay, thank you for watching <clears throat> me make the four cards. Um, I found that if I cut all the elements um, in one go, um, it's just a little bit easier to put together. But even so, just whilst I've been doing this, I've made a few changes. Um, I think I've done the flamingo justice. Uh, not so much in that one, but you know, they've got nice feathers, haven't they? Anyway, it's a stash buster, so it's good for using up my stash. I will be doing another video showing the next four. Uh, obviously there will be, because I'm going to do them in batches of four, there will be four uh, videos and also on my blog I will put pictures and, and all the items that I've used. Some of the, I mean, or generally it is from my stash and so things like the glitter card, but I can give you the manufacturers of that. Uh, it's mostly does Dovecraft. But anyway, thank you for watching. Until I see you again. Thanks. Don't forget, enter the challenge. It's a great challenge. All the details are on my blog. I will put them below, links below in my in my uh, uh, below this video. Um, you are in with a chance of winning uh, some three smashing prizes for uh, just entering, just having some fun, creating these cards, cards that you can give away, give to charity, whatever you want to do with them, sell them. Um, and also enter the competition and one of the prizes is $50 worth of pink and main goodies so it's well worth doing thanks very much bye